As he landed on the Miami airport, there were two big men waiting, looking straight into his eyes from a distance. Leo kept cool, ignored them, and jumped into a taxi. Leo spent his first days learning about the city and how Smith's gang worked. He found out that Smith had a lot of power, with both criminals and some police on his side. But Leo was determined to find a way to get closer to Smith and make him pay. While he was researching about Smith and his gang on the internet, he found out that Smith regularly visited a club named Floyd. Leo knew that he had a great chance of seeing Smith in that club. So for the next week, Leo regularly went to that club in hopes of finding Smith there, but failed. On the eighth day, he met a guy in the club named Yuji. By talking to Yuji, Leo got to know that he loved to show off and flex luxury cars, and his style clearly represented that he is associated with black money in some way. Leo showed that he was rich guy named Lamar to gain Yuji's interest and find a way into the underworld. While Yuji and Lamar were talking, Yuji mentioned that he worked for Smith. This made Leo absolutely intrigued. He saw an opportunity to get closer to Smith through Yuji. Over the course of the night, Leo cultivated a friendship with Yuji, subtly dropping hints about wanting to get involved in certain ventures that Yuji might be able to help with. As they were about to leave, Yuji said something that shocked Leo. Follow for part three. When they were about to leave, Yuji offered Leo to work for Smith. Leo was astonished and suddenly accepted the offer. Yuji gave him his contact and invited him to a party that was held after two days by Smith. Leo came back to his apartment and was happy as he was finally getting close to his destination. Leo prepared himself for the party and made sure that the party must be the last party of Smith. Finally, the day came of which Leo had been waiting desperately. He entered the party and noticed that it was a massive party and a meetup of city's most dangerous criminals. In the crowd of criminals, he saw Smith standing with a couple other guys and Yuji. Leo approached them, but as he approached, he saw the same two men who were staring at him on the airport. Smith looked at Leo with an evil smile. He knew the whole thing that Leo was planning. Leo was shocked and didn't know what to do. Smith said that Leo really thought that he can end Smith that easily. Smith pointed a gun towards Leo and pressed the trigger. On the next sight, Smith was unalived and lying on the floor. Everyone was shocked by this scene, and the very next moment there was an FBI raid, and each and every person got arrested. After a few days, Leo got an invitation to a meeting with FBI officers. After his arrival, officers thanked Leo and offered him a job in the FBI, as he was successful in succeeding their high-tier mission. Leo happily accepted this job, and he was successful in taking the revenge of his best friend. Meet Leo Carter, a former FBI agent from Miami. Leo was a popular agent, and had solved many high-tier cases. It was until he was in a restaurant enjoying the night when met a guy named Tariq. Now, Tariq was a mafia boss and he already knew that Leo was an FBI agent. Tariq offered $3 million to Leo to work for him. Now, Leo thought that $3 million was a huge amount and he can live his dream life with that money, so he agreed to work for him. Now note, Leo was still an FBI and at the same time he was working for a mafia boss. Leo, being an FBI, researched about Tariq and every information about him, and he came to a shocking discovery. Tariq was the son of a mafia boss who Leo had eliminated in his first mission. Leo knew that he had made a big mistake by accepting the offer. Leo kept his cool and continued to carry out his duties as an FBI agent, all the while secretly gathering information on Tariq's operations and connections within the mafia. Additionally, Leo used his position within the FBI to subtly disrupt Tariq's operations operations, making it appear as though law enforcement was closing in on him. As tensions within the mafia grew, Leo saw an opportunity to strike. He orchestrated a series of coordinated raids on Tariq's operations, simultaneously weakening his infrastructure and capturing key members of his inner circle. After all this, Leo confronted Tariq face to face and told him the whole story, and he knew that he was the son of Smith. Tariq threatened Leo that he will uncover the hidden truths behind Leo. Leo pulled out his gun and shot Tariq on the spot. Follow for part two on Earth. After Leo eliminated Tariq, he gave a statement that Tariq was about to hurt him, so he did it for self-defense. After this incident, FBI was looking for the other members of Tariq's group, and because Leo had been working with them, he knew where they all are hiding. After four days of the incident, Leo did a meeting with all the remaining members and gave them an offer. He told them that if they help him robbing the Bank of Miami, he will erase all the data of them from the FBI databases. But if they don't, Leo will give their locations to FBI. 
Without any hesitation, all of them agreed. They made a plan that Leo will be controlling all the security and cameras in the area, and the team will rob without any problem. The whole plan went perfect, and Leo was now a billionaire. He erased all the information of the criminals, and everything was fine. But because this was a huge case, multiple agents started working on this, and within no time, Leo became a suspect. So, he wasted no time, booked a private airplane, and left the United States the same night. It was it's now clear that Leo was behind all this, but he was nowhere to be found. Wherever Leo would be, he would be living his life to the fullest. And this case made him the most wanted person on Earth.